Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. And today, another Patreon sponsored video. This one again by Darth Vendor. And uh, this this one is making me smile. Um, so we we have an audacious and a little bit of a sneaky plan. Um, we're going to try and disrupt the logistics of the British Empire. Because um, we're trapped in the Mediterranean. Maybe we can sneak our way out and uh, cause some damage out in the uh, shipping lanes away from there. Um, so we have a plan. We're going to disguise one of our light cruisers as a British light cruiser, specifically the HMS Carmania. And we're going to send it to disrupt British and allied trade off the coast of Brazil. However, when we get there, we encounter a British light cruiser protecting those routes and unfortunately it is the HMS Carmania. So uh yeah <laughs> this is really interesting. So we're gonna go into the design and we're actually gonna start with the enemy design. And I'm being told let the AI build the ship and then fix it. Okay. Um, not a completely pointless funnel, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get get rid of all the all of this. I'll I'll, I'll put those uh, secondaries back later. Um, Gigantic four way offset. There we go. So, uh, what do we got here? Four inch gun? Probably want to copy those four inches there. And then it had a load of secondary guns and it had it did have torpedo launches, but I mean, let's be honest, underwaters are generally more fun. I might take that forward one off though. Just keep the balancing issues. Uh the rest of it's all fine. Um, I don't have to copy copy this slavishly. It is uh, to try and copy the look. Um, what kind of funnel is that? Thick funnel two. They're a little bit under on their thing, so let's give them a thick funnel three. Hmm. I wonder if you can do a dual funnel on this. I mean, I know they had a dual funnel. Yeah, that's a bit more British as well to have uh, two fu two funnels. Although weirdly, I think I might do that so they're the same. No, one's just a little bit lower than the other. Keep those four-inch wing turrets. Yeah, underwater torpedo launches, and then yeah, we'll give them a load of uh, load of secondary guns. Let's go one, two, three in the midsection. One at the front, one at the rear, like, like so. Actually, no, not that one. <laughs> Just notice the aft waist, waist, uh, aft weight offset that I have picked up. Uh, let's give them standard quarters, standard range, uh, low range, very low range, fine, whatever. Um. So what have they got? Seven inch guns. You. That's a bit heavy for a cruiser. Oh, oh well. Oh, zero protection. Wow. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, just need to fix that off weight offset. Oh, I know. Just put the torpedo launcher back. There we go. Done. Done, done, and done. So this is HMS. Can't mean yet. All right. Now let's go back to us. Now we have a slightly different hull, weirdly enough. Um, because we're Austria-Hungary, but we'll try and uh, copy it as best we can. Obviously, uh, the uh, light cruisers are very similar in the game. <laughs> we can use the exact same funnel. Uh, secondary guns, we can't do 4-inch wing turrets. Sadly, we can do seven inch guns. Obviously the turrets look a bit different, but we can, uh, we can copy that. We can uh, copy the underwater torpedo tubes. Again, not that it matters because it's uh, an aesthetic thing. We can copy those three inch guns. I think there were three of them chips we'll just go with the two so you know at first glance they're you know they're similar ish um but uh you know they're still distinct right uh we'll just run this on steam you know you you wouldn't want a particularly expensive ship Try and keep the cost down. We're going to need long range if we're going to make it to Brazil. Um, reduce the speed a bit. Yeah, 30, 34. It's fine. Uh, probably want to... What crew have they got? 63. We'll have the same. Uh, Again, try and keep things cheap. Uh, got overweight. We've got overweight because we're using those seven inches. It's a lot of firepower. Uh, did they have 20? No, they had 21 inch torps for their oxygens. Geared ones doesn't save me any weight. It does save money though. What about a diesel? If we ran out on diesel, we get a little bit of smoke. Uh, we'll lower the speed a little bit to 33. And yeah, now we're underweight. Um. Uh, armor. <laughs> like more on my main belt. I'd like more on my turrets. Oops, Daisy. A bit of slow down. There we go. Uh, deck is is small than enough. Belts are fine the way they are. Um. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Um, just need to balance the ship then. Forward weight offset. This is where it again. I've said it before. I'll almost certainly say it again. I wish you could kind of uh, copy paste 
to uh, move things around. There we go. Lovely. Balance ship. And, uh, yeah, they... They don't look dissimilar. Um, of course, we've been recognised at 12,000 metres out, so... Uh, It's not like it was a, a, a particularly amazing disguise. But uh, we tried. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's not our ship. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pop smoke. Get nice and close. Yes, we, we're the HMS Carmania. What do you mean you're the HMS Carmania? In fact, let's turn our guns off. Oh, no, they, they have noticed this. No, you're firing at the wrong ship. Honest. We're friendly. Very friendly. We'll hide our Austrian flag at the back. We don't fly in at the front, amusingly enough. No, no. Oh, no, there's one here. Which, again, you can't... You, you, can't, you can't see from the front. <laughs> no, no, we're friendly. That's why we're coming right at you. Oh, they hit us. Rude. No, please stop firing. Honest, Governor. It's the range now. 13 kilometers. I, th I think it's fair enough to say that. Actually, what's the chance to hit? Ah, save the ammunition. Let's get closer. And uh, load HE. Because I remember their armour was terrible. Yeah, I think if we hold our fire until uh, we get an identification, because then they'll definitely know. But uh, we can continue the uh, trying to maintain the subterfuge. And then, of course, we'll realise that we're tr pretending to be the ship that... <laughs> the same ship, which uh, obviously not not gonna not gonna work particularly well. No, no, friendlies, friendlies, stop shooting at us. Or you can expend all your all your ammunition doing that. That's uh, fine by me. Oh. <laughs> you're, uh, you're us. Well, I suppose we better end the deception. Run up the proper colours. Open fire. Drop some smoke. This is probably going to be a bit of a, a bit of a chase. By the looks of it. 44 million, this is 56, so AI's probably decided it just, wanna, just wants to run away. <clears throat> we are faster though, by three and a half knots. So, we will close in on them slowly. And of course, very similar firepower. Chance to hit any time we shoot. A salvo is about one in six. So yeah, rolling sixes to hit. I'm firing HE because uh, with the super heavy I'd, and the angle, um, I'd rather get <coughs> partial than possibly the odd pen. Um, 
rather than, you know, finally getting a hit and it ricochets off. HE is usually pretty handy in a stern chase and uh, cheap powder HE. Oh no, they're turning it across us. And firing torpedoes. Hard to starboard. Give them a bit of uh, automatic fire. So, AP shells for the most part. Let's try and get back on a closing course. Firing all our guns. Flooding hit on us. Rude. Right, start closing in again. And get that pumped out. It's so going to be slowed massively by that. Should be able to pump it out. Pumps engaged, and we're back to a stern chase while they uh, reload, I think. And then they have reloaded. Oh, there we go, finally. HE shells going right through the main belt, very nice. There we go, taking out an engine. Yeah, this is this is the range we want to be at. They can't really hurt us, but we can certainly hurt them. And a big hit. Peter tubes, they're dead in the water, I think. Mm, pretty much. 8.5 knots. I can't remember if they have a rear launcher or not. But uh, they're sunk, so they won't get a chance to use it. Glorious! Well, um, the real <laughs> HMS Carmenia, uh, not faring so well. Uh, we can take her place and uh, sail around and attack. Merchant shipping at our at our leisure. Um, yeah, handy victory and uh, very nice too. Hope the emperor is pleased, and I'll see you again soon for some more ultimate ultimate apple dreadnoughts. Bye for now.